All good. I'm broadcasting from my home because I'm not going into the station as I have COVID. I came, uh, I was tested positive last week, and I have uh, been uh, steadily improving. At no point was I in danger of hospitalization. I have uh, received monoclonal antibodies. That's Regeneron. I have, of course, for years, a year and a half, not years, been taking hydroxychloroquine from the beginning with zinc. I've taken z the er 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 erythromycin, as uh, the Zelenko protocol would have it. I have taken ivermectin. I always start off my matches of chess with the Zelenko protocol. Actually, most people don't see it coming. Um, it's more European, really. Uh, so that was Dennis Prager, who is proof of a few things. Uh, one is that if uh, millionaires and billionaires give you enough money to advertise your content, you don't have to have one subatomic particle of charisma to make it in media. Um, and also that man, is there an appetite for anti-vax, pro whatever, pro hydroxychloroquine, pro ivermectin, pro z whatever. He is saying there that he got COVID and he's kind of happy. We'll see in the video coming up in just a little bit that this is actually kind of by design. He's not the way he would have you believe it. He's not one of those Republicans that are right wing radio hosts or whatever that railed against doing something about this and then regrettably got it and it's a terrible thing. Uh, Nina, he seems like kind of happy to continue to take all this stuff he's been taking. Now he's taking Regeneron, which costs like $2,000 a dose. And he seems like perfectly happy about it. And this guy has a very big following, the Prager. Prager U, which isn't a university, but they use it to make it seem as if it's authoritative on topics like race and stuff like that. Um, he's yeah. the head of it. Yeah, he's a little too giddy about this, and he's he's lucky right now. I don't know if he realizes that or not. And the fact that what he was at recently at a political event in Colorado, I believe, campaigning. I, yes, I think for, you're right for, for a candidate, and he yep. exposed all of these people. Of possibly contracting COVID yep. because he's just pulling every other folks into his little experiment here, which is so unfair. I, I've never seen no. anything like this for somebody to be so giddy to have COVID. I know it's amazing. So you're, you're totally right. So he was um, uh, Heidi Ganahl is a Republican running for governor, and he went and he like spoke at the event and, and all that. And uh, so it's bad enough that he didn't say that he had been exposed or whatever, or like that he had reason to believe. But he didn't tell them he wanted to be exposed to COVID. He was actively trying to, like Phoebe in Friends, trying to keep her like rough, gravelly voice. He's off licking doorknobs to try to get COVID, and then going around other people who might not be trying to get you know infected by a fatal illness or might be immunocompromised or whatever. Um, this is how fundamentally lacking. And not only sense, but more importantly, empathy, these people are. But anyway, I, 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 you don't need to take my word for it. Here he is describing his COVID strategy. It is infinitely preferable to have natural immunity than vaccine immunity. And that is what I hoped for the entire time. Hence, I so... Uh, Engaged with strangers, constantly hugging them, taking photos with them, knowing that I was in it, making myself very susceptible to getting COVID, which is indeed as bizarre as it sounded, what I wanted in the hope that I would achieve natural immunity and be taken care of by therapeutics. That is exactly what has happened. It should have happened to the great majority of Americans. So if you're wondering how you defend a political movement uh, that led to over 700,000 people uh, having died needlessly from this, it's I wish it was more. I wish more people had gotten sick. In fact, I was trying to get this thing despite the fact 
that I'm about 800 years old. And like, if I close my eyes for three seconds, you'd suspect that I was already dead. I think I'm gonna weather this just fine. And so he was trying to get COVID. So that he could then do the fallback thing, remember he's not vaxxed, of taking all of this medication that has side effects and is potentially toxic or incredibly expensive. That is his path forward, Nina, for the country. Don't take the relatively cheap, freely available vaccine, get COVID, and then take expensive, dangerous treatments for it. And sure, some of you will still get hospitalized and many of you will die, but that's preferable for reasons that none of them ever express. It's lunacy out of this old man's mouth. He's not even ashamed. It's lunacy. And to me, they need to go check him out. Go check on him. Because there is something absolutely wrong with him. And for all of the debates that we have had and continue to have about the vaccine, about the virus itself, this is the first time that I've heard someone sit up there and say, I was trying to get, I was hugging on folks. I was, you know, just in, yep. in shaking hand, all that stuff he was doing to try to get it. And God only knows who he could have infected along yep. the way, people who cannot afford to be hospitalized people who cannot afford and 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 had no desire as he did clear desire to contract this deadly virus the man is out of his mind yeah yeah and he's so out of his mind and the others who've been pushing this natural immunity thing like it like the, it's been in the rogan circle and there's others that I don't even want to talk about that are now pushing this it's not just that it's not Again, like with the vaccine, they love to point this out. It's not perfect protection anyway. You can still get COVID again, and it doesn't last forever. Like with the vaccine, it wears off. These same things that cause them supposedly to write off the vaccine are true of the, nat nat the natural uh, resistance, but they don't mind it then. Here is the like, I feel like I am taking crazy pills because the natural immunity, so get COVID and then you'll have resistance and you're good. Wait, you're good from what? Getting COVID, but you tried to get it. Why are you getting a thing that will protect you from getting it? Like, it's like saying, oh, yeah, take a gun, shoot yourself in the head, and you become bulletproof. Yeah, but at what cost? You already did the thing you're trying to avoid, you jackass. I don't understand why I have to explain this to people, but this is a serious thing that people with massive platforms are talking about, and not just Prager. And Prager does have a lot of people that pay attention to his stuff. I don't understand why. Um, but it's not just him, but some of the biggest people in online media are pushing for a strategy that is exactly the same thing that Trump and Scott Atlas were doing. It's just let everyone get the disease. That is literally the worst possible outcome. That is what all of this is trying to avoid. But for them, that is in fact the strategy. Because we have different objectives at the end of the day, and I have to be very clear about that. If you actually try to stop people from getting COVID, presumably your objective is to minimize loss of life and hospitalization. And they would have you believe that is somehow still their goal, but it isn't. It's getting past all of this and getting back to whatever. Being able to go out and not have to worry about it. Like the economy revving back up, I don't know. And what they won't say is that along the way, we will kill hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. That is a cost that I find horrific to even contemplate. They've apparently made their peace with it, and they are fine with advocating for other people to potentially get sick and die as a result of this. And so, Nina, I apologize for going on at length about this. It's just no. after a year and a half of such utter, corrupt, dishonest madness, I can't take it anymore. No, please go off on this, because people do need to know, and they need to. I mean, enter in the mind of a madman or a mad woman, but in this case, a madman. It is exhausting. They are going to get, I mean, again, not saying, I don't know. They're telling people that were around this man when he went to that rally on behalf of that candidate to get tested. But think about the callous nature of somebody and the hubris that it takes to say, I'm just gonna try to get the virus and I don't care who I hurt along the way because I got something to prove. Really, do? if it only involved him, that's one thing. Look, champ, if that's what you wanna do with your life, Go for it, but it involves other people who did not sign up for this. Yep, that's the selfish thing about what Prager did. So, yeah. so yeah, go off, John. This, this is, this is one of the moments, right?
hope he lives through it. Hope more importantly that he didn't infect and kill anyone else in this insane okay. quest. That's that is all I will say. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.